Welcome to Chrome on Air. Today, we'll be covering how Chrome browser can play a pivotal role in your enterprise security strategy. If you are listening live and have questions, please submit them below and we'll be able to answer them live during this session. I'm Kiran Nair and I'm a product manager for Chrome browser enterprise security. I work closely with multiple security teams across Google to improve both Chrome browser security and security across the open web. In turn, we pass on these security benefits to Chrome browser for enterprise and also develop additional enterprise specific controls to better protect your users and your organization. What we are going to cover today is broken up into three sections. First, browser as a strategic tool for your security. Second, built-in security features in Chrome. And third, Chrome capabilities you can use to support end user and endpoint security. Let's get started. We are seeing a shift in workforce becoming increasingly mobile and companies are moving to the cloud. 80% of enterprise workloads were predicted to move to cloud by 2025. Undoubtedly, this number has risen as more folks are working from home. With these shifts, the role of the browser is evolving. In 2020, a study that Google commissioned with Forrester, we found that cloud workers spend 75% of their time on devices in the browser and in virtual meetings. The browser is a huge aspect of an enterprise's security efforts. Today, organizations continue to rely on the browser as a critical access point to deliver services and applications for the business. And 85% of people are doing this virtually. This new reality of how the enterprise is working allows a lot more flexibility and productivity, but it also introduces more room for threats from the web. Chrome Enterprise Browser plays a crucial role in combating malware and phishing. In addition, it provides advanced management and visibility capabilities. It also helps enterprises protect employee privacy by meeting regulatory standards and protecting employee and business data. Browsers are a key tool for enterprises security strategy. They can warn users in real time and guide them away from dangerous behaviors, enforce user-centric security policies on endpoints, and support endpoint security across devices and operating systems. Today, we'll be walking over each of these categories in detail. To start with, we'll walk through how to protect users from dangerous behavior. First, we have safe browsing and phishing protections. Google safe browsing helps protect over 3 billion devices every day by showing warnings to users when they attempt to navigate to dangerous sites or download dangerous files. I'm sure some of you have personally come across these warnings while using Chrome. Google safe browsing examines billions of URLs, software, and content of pages in its search for unsafe websites. It also leverages a team of hundreds of security engineers, analysts, and third-party threat intelligence sources to compile a list of potentially unsafe websites or binaries. Safe browsing then warns Chrome users when they attempt to navigate to these websites that could steal their personal information or install software designed to take over their computers. In 2019, we launched two new phishing protection features. The first feature, real-time phishing protections, checks URLs of pages with safe browsing servers before you visit them. This approach is especially effective against phishing sites that try to evade our systems by quickly switching domains or hiding from our crawlers. Our analysis show that users who have this feature turned on in Chrome by default get a 30 to 50% lift in protections. 
against phishing sites. Your password is the key to your online identity and data. If this key falls into the hands of attackers, they can easily impersonate you and get access to your data. Predictive phishing protections warn users when they enter any password stored in Chrome Password Manager into suspected phishing sites that try to steal their credentials. While safe browsing protects your employees against malicious attackers who might try to steal their credentials, there are other built-in protections that protect against password compromise due to employee negligence. Studies have shown that over 52% of enterprise users enter or reuse their, compromise, their corporate passwords on their personal sites. The password alert feature in Chrome Enterprise allows you to stop employees from reusing their corporate passwords on non-corporate sites. So for example, when an employee tries to reuse their corporate password on a non-whitelisted site, uh, say, you know, they try to reuse their corporate password to access their personal email account, password alert will tell users that this is against their corporate policy and will ask them to change their passwords. Administrators can turn on this feature using GPOs or from the cloud. We also recently launched Password Checkup, which warns users about passwords that were compromised in data breaches and gives them visibility into the health of their passwords. It compares passwords and usernames against over 4 billion credentials that Google knows to have been compromised. Users can also run Password Checkup at any time to see if passwords have been exposed in a data breach, are weak, or are used by multiple accounts. We introduced this capability as an extension in early 2019, uh, but recently we built this feature into Chrome to ensure that we are protecting as many people as we can. Now let's walk through some of the built-in security protections available through Chrome. In addition to built-in anti-malware and anti-phishing detection, Chrome has been the leader in platform-level security capabilities. Chrome was the first browser to introduce the concept of sandboxes. A sandbox is a security mechanism used to run an application in a restricted environment. If an attacker is able to exploit the browser in a way that lets them run arbitrary code on the machine, the sandbox would help prevent this code from causing damage to the system. In 2018, we launched Site Isolation. Websites typically cannot access each other's data when they are inside a browser, thanks to a concept called Same Origin Policy. Occasionally though, security bugs can be found in this code and malicious websites try to take advantage of these uh, bugs to bypass uh, websites and run attacks against other websites. Some examples are Spectre and Meltdown. Site isolation offers a second line of defense to make such attacks less likely to succeed. Keeping browsers up to date is vital for keeping your workforce protected. Chrome updates automatically, which allows for updates and patches to be quickly deployed with high efficiency and it requires no intervention from the end users. Chrome has cut the typical time from when a security bug is fixed in an open source library to the time that the fix is deployed in the field. It's called the patch gap down to only 20 days. This is faster than other widely used browsers. Enterprises have unique security and privacy needs. Chrome Enterprise has well over 300 policies that let administrators enforce these policies and fine tune Chrome to fit their enterprise needs. Let's look at some of these powerful capabilities. Extensions are one of the most loud features of Chrome. Extensions can also be difficult to, for administrators to manage. Many threat actors lure users into downloading and installing malicious software disguised as useful applications. As an enterprise admin, you can go into Chrome Browser Cloud Management Console and get a holistic view of extension usage across your fleet of Chrome devices. 
you'll be able to understand which extensions are being downloaded, what permissions they have, and also remotely install or remove them if they violate your organization's security or compliance policies. You can also enforce two-factor authentication that provides an additional layer of protection to systems and data. Administrators can enable the use of two-factor authentication using a variety of authentication methods, including entering a code in text, tapping a prompt on a smartphone, and using a physical security device that attaches to a USB port on a laptop or device. Some users continue to need access to old web applications that use technology not supported by the current generation of browsers. By allowing the use of insecure legacy browsers that work with those applications, increases the risk of compromised endpoints and successful data breaches, as well as creating performance and support issues. Legacy browser support functionality is integrated into Chrome to minimize these risks and reduce the time that users need to spend with less secure browsers. Administrators can set policies so that users must use Chrome to access up-to-date corporate web applications and external websites and limit legacy browser usage uh, to very specific applications that absolutely need it. Users can also switch seamlessly between the two as needed. Here are some additional policies that we recommend using to meet your enterprise browser privacy requirements. Having different profiles help your employees keep their work and personal life separate. It also ensures that all extensions, apps, history, and bookmark remain separate. As an administrator, you can restrict which Google accounts can be signed into as the primary user in Chrome browser. If you don't want Google Chrome to remember your activity, you can choose to browse the web using incognito mode. As an enterprise admin, you can turn this feature off. On shared devices, you can force Chrome profiles to be ephemeral by policy. If ephemeral mode is enabled for a profile, the profile is immediately deleted after the last browser window associated with that profile is closed. For NDA customers, we also provide a detailed network annotations report that shows all the traffic to and from the browser. An admin can then turn services on or off using policies to ensure compliance. You can't secure what you cannot manage. For our last section, we'll, go, we'll talk through managing endpoint security. To help manage your Chrome deployments, we release Chrome Browser Cloud Management which provides an easier way to manage deployments of any size, centrally from the cloud and across Windows, Mac, and Linux, all from the same console where an enterprise can manage other Google services such as Chrome devices or G Suite. The good news is that this is easy to implement. For administrators, it's extremely helpful because you'll gain deeper insights into your deployment. Administrators can get information on specific devices, like what type of machine it is, what version of Chrome is installed on that device, and the policies and extensions that have been enabled. The browser is at the core of enterprise productivity. Today's workforce depends on the browser throughout the day, every day. They help users work smarter, and get more done as they work in the web across different devices and platforms. But browsers are not just about productivity. IT security professionals should start thinking about them in a new way, as a key frontline defense for endpoints. Because browsers occupy the space on endpoints where the web meets users and applications. They are in a unique position to monitor and guide user behavior in real time and enforce critical security policies. Chrome browser is a strategic layer in an enterprise's defense in depth strategy.
For more information on what we talked today, head to the link you see here to view our new paper titled Browser is the New Frontline Defense for Endpoint Security. And here are some use, other useful links. I'll pause here so that you can take a screenshot for reference. Finally, thanks for joining. Feel free to add any feedback you have to the form on the right side of your screen. Don't forget to register for our upcoming technical bootcamp, Admin Essentials with Chrome on Air, where we'll have content from browser experts on managing Chrome, extensions, updates, and more. Head over to chromeonair.withgoogle.com to register.